why should uh, somebody uh, take the uh, our Yara course and not some other course? Well, first of all, I guess that uh, if you if you want a complete a complete package that takes you from the basics and then uh, showing how to write uh, uh, beautiful, sound, solid, fast rules that do not produce false positives, uh, rules that other people will immediately recognize, let's say, and respect in a way, um, the ability to differentiate them from, let's say, the average, but then uh, as well as uh, developing a threat hunting mentality, the so-called detective mind, all of, all of these together, I think they're pretty much unique to our Yara training. And this is something that you will not get uh, anywhere else. What are the main uh, three skills that uh, you can gain from uh, taking this course? I guess the uh, ability to uh, look at samples and to write uh, Yara rules that are solid in the sense they don't produce false positives, that they are fast and they are effective in catching these samples uh, is one of them. Secondly, uh, the ability to write unconventional Yara rules, rules that are finding things uh, using uh, metadata or let's say Yara rules that try to catch samples by using a bit more than uh, the average. I guess uh, that is the second one. And last but not least, uh, a threat hunting mentality. And I guess this is possibly the most important thing. How to think like a threat hunter? How do you catch things that sometimes you don't even know how they look? So in reality, and I guess that this is uh, what happens most of the times, um, you are either, let's say, tasked with uh, defending your company's uh, network or maybe one of your customer's network. And in reality, in many cases, you don't know what you're looking for. You're looking for an attacker, you're looking for a breach, but uh, let's say you don't know exactly which attacker or what kind of breach. And in order to do that, you need a threat hunting mentality. Some people call it a uh, detective mind. We will try to show you how to go get into that uh, state of mind, how to think like Sherlock Holmes, how to think like a detective, and how to catch threats, even when you don't even uh, really know how these threats look like in the first place. So is this course uh, beneficial to uh, people who are trying to start or transition a career in security? I think, yes, absolutely. Um, it's uh, Yara is pretty much one of the um, foundations of threat hunting nowadays. So having a solid grip uh, on Yara will no doubt benefit pretty much anybody in this field. Um, doesn't matter if you're maybe you already have a bit of experience uh, or maybe you're completely new to this field. Um, this um, knowing Yara and this uh, training in particular with all the practical examples that we have built into it will allow you, let's say, to at least open the door, uh, broaden your horizons and automatically add something to your CV that a lot of other people uh, will notice. So for instance, when we hire somebody, we look for such things in their CV. Do they have experience with things like Yara? Uh, do they have experience with threat hunting? Do they have experience in uh, uh, hunting for unknown malware? Do they know how to do that? Uh, all, all this matters when we try to hire somebody for our team, for instance. And of course, we know that other uh, companies are looking for the same thing. So all, all in all, this is all very beneficial for somebody's career. Doesn't matter if they're new or if they're just uh, moving from one field to the other, it should uh, be extremely, extremely useful. So what makes Kaspersky is um, the Yara training different from other threat hunting uh, courses? Well, first of all, we start uh, by uh, showing how to use Yara in a number of uh, real world cases. So from this point, of, well, from this point of view, it's all it's all very practical. We try to uh, show big cases and uh, how we solve some of the big problems out there. And I guess that this is uh, what makes it kind of unique: the fact that we are very very. Um, practical and we are oriented on high profile threat hunting cases. 
we don't just show the theory, we show how we discovered some very big stories out there using Yara. And all this, again, uh, is based on our experience. Um, additionally, I guess um, there's very few ways uh, out there or very few possibilities for somebody to get uh, trained with Yara. Uh, in general, many other threat hunting courses, they focus on a combination of uh, open source intelligence together with uh, network hunting. There's uh, very few courses which, uh, uh, let's say, fit somewhere between uh, initial malware assessment, malware analysis, and reverse engineering. So what we are trying to teach is something that is applicable to pretty much anybody uh, who works in a uh, security operation center in a SOC, or maybe they work in a small uh, threat hunting company or um, a threat intelligence company, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the knowledge that you can get from this course and the ability to use Yara will allow you to um, boost your skills and to be able to find things which were previously uh, unavailable. So mo most of the students who uh, choose to go through the, um, our Yara course might already have a basic understanding of Yara. Uh, in addition to this, what we are trying to build on top of this is uh, a hunting mentality. This is probably the most difficult thing to teach, how to teach somebody to um, hunt for threats and the mentality that you need to develop in order to find those threats. So in many cases, uh, for instance, you need to build upon clues. So you um, maybe you receive a small clue and uh, then using that clue, you find something else and you keep snowballing, putting all these clues together in order to find, uh, let's say, the big fish. And uh, this kind of uh, chaining of clues, a kind of detective work, if we want uh, to call it like that, this is what uh, allows you to uh, find things that nobody else can. The ability, let's say, to how to learn to think like Sherlock Holmes or any pretty much any of the big uh, detectives um, out there, this is something that we are trying to teach in addition to uh, the Yara syntax, how to use Yara, uh, a bit of initial malware assessment, how malware works um, and uh, how anomalies work. So altogether, this is what we're trying to, to teach here. So what advice uh, can we give to someone who is already in the field and wants to progress uh, their career? I think um, obviously, uh, having uh, a good grip on Yara will help a lot. Uh, at the same time, experience. Experience uh, helps a lot in the sense that knowing how to work with real world samples and uh, you know just uh, drills, drills after drills, knowing how other people work with these samples, learning from that experience, applying, reapplying some of that experience uh, in your own cases is going to help you a lot. So um, to be honest, nobody uh, you know, is born uh, uh, all knowing when it comes to threat hunting and pretty much anything else in life. All that you can learn and you can develop in time. And working with practical cases uh, versus just the theory is what in my opinion makes the difference just knowing how to work with the real world cases and getting that experience is what will help you take your career to the next level.